Jesus is the only way to God. Jesus said, I'm the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father but through me. Every Yo, what's up, what it do? It's your boy, MTC King, and I'm back on your screen. What's going on, squad? I hope everybody has a great, amazing, blessed Sunday. It's already noon. I've been up. You know what I'm saying? I'm always up. <laughs> but I was actually just chilling, listening to music, uh, looking at Instagram, posting a picture of me on Instagram. <laughs> Damn, I got the hiccups. But yeah, you know, I'm just chilling right now. Check out my Fora shirt. Hey, man, if y'all don't know who Fora is, y'all go check out his music. I'm telling you, all his music is lit. It's dumb lit. <laughs> I remember I had heard like three of his songs. And then one day I was with my one of my, uh, my cousins. We were, uh, we were rolling around and he put a song on. And the voice, I heard it, but... Like, at the time, I really didn't, you know, I didn't ever pay attention to his name when I was listening to his music. Because usually I'm like that. I don't really pay attention to nobody's name until, like, I started getting into it. But I knew I had already. I had him on uh, SoundCloud already. And then my cousin's like, it's for And I'm like, who? So I, I'm like, oh, damn, yeah, I bumped to him. But I never bumped to that song that he was listening to. And that song is legit, like, one of my favorite songs now. Um, but I did listen to a lot of his other music and all his new music, and man, it's, trust me, it's like, he reminds me, sort of, of myself, because when I work on a song, whatever, even though my songs don't sound all lit, because I don't have all the equipment, because if I had all the equipment, trust me, man, my should be sounding like bangers, <laughs> but the way I do my music compared to the way he does his music is totally different, because, you know, he's actually in the studio, and I'm... The way I do it, I do it my shit like the old school way. Uh, but when I first heard of him, which was a couple of years ago, I believe like when I started bumping to him was like in 2017. Or maybe sooner, I'm, I'm not even too sure. But when I started bumping to his music, and now that I'm listening like to all his new music, I'm like, man, like this dude is singing from the heart. Like this dude is literally singing music that has to do with his life. That's the shit I like. I like singing about real stuff that happens in my life. I don't, I don't like like if I was to make a song about smoking, it's not gonna go with me because everybody knows damn well I don't smoke. <laughs> Just because I smoked probably one time in my life, which was when I was probably, like, in my early 20s. It's not going to count because <laughs> nobody really, you know, knows of me, you know. Um, I smoked, then like it, and I was like, whatever. Um, on to the next. Now, you see, if I made a song about drinking a bottle of Ciroc, now that'd be something different because, you know, I have drank Ciroc more than once. <laughs> uh... So basically, it's like, you know, I like making music about stuff that happens in my life. And that's the same way he is. So his music actually is like legit ass music. It's not nothing like he's just rapping to be a show off or this and this and that. Like, hell no, everything that he raps is legit real. And he his music is just dope, so, you know ripping the ripping the shirt today his shirt with the socks you know what I'm saying got the socks on you know what I mean tomorrow I'm gonna wear the other one that they sent me that he teamed up with uh with o ODM which is you know the RVG fam who sent me the backpack he teamed up with them and they uh sent the shirts out or whatever and at first one, I was like, for all that, man, is it for us? Because I knew he had a clothing line, honestly, but I didn't know what it was called. I didn't know I didn't know it was called yours truly. <laughs> um, I didn't know he had a clothing line, but I didn't know it was your, yours truly. And I think I had looked it up probably like about, about, about last year, maybe. 
But I didn't even pay attention, honestly, to the name. I think I had just clicked in his thing and I seen it, whatever. But I really didn't pay too much attention and stuff, you know. So when I was like, yours truly, I kept looking at it. And then I saw the back of this shirt. Because the back of this shirt, it actually has his name on the back of it. And it says, like, the where the store's located at and stuff, which is in Los Angeles. And I was like, man, it, I'm like, I think it gets for a senior. Like, I was like, I can't be tripping. And yeah, then I looked it up and I was like, oh, yeah, I'm not tripping. Because I was like, man, I'm like, I know he has, I know he has a clothing line. So then when I found out it was his clothing line, trust me, I got more hyped up. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, shit. Like, who would have known? Like, a dude I listened to, you know, he literally is, you know, I got shirts by him and stickers, you know, because I got the three stickers. So I'm like, man, heck yes, I'm going to say them three stickers. So whenever, you know, whenever God blesses me again to get back on my feet and stuff, and when I can be able to buy me a laptop, those are going to be the three stickers that go on my laptop. Um, But yeah, I'm just like, man, I'm like, that's crazy. I'm like, that's freaking dope, though. And right now, all his, all his, all his clothes is like merch is sold out. So I'm like, damn, that's crazy. The butterfly collection is pretty dope. Like literally, I was sported. I ain't even tripping. Actually, Austin even has a oh, Fernay's family. He got one of the shirts with the. It has the lines and it has the b- blue butterflies right here. Um. But yeah, I'm just like, man, that's crazy. And just like the fact of you know his like his story and stuff, you'll be like, damn, like. You know why he makes that kind of music. But y'all go check him out, though, for real. Um, I'm telling you, you ain't gonna regret listening to his music. His music is freaking a banger. All his songs are bangers. There's not one song that you'll be like, oh, I don't like this song. Trust me, you'll be like, damn. Anybody in the world could relate to his one of his songs. I'm sure I could relate to a lot of them. But I'm sure everybody in this world could relate to at least one of his songs. He has a lot of songs, too. So, But y'all go check him out, though, for real. Whether y'all look him up on YouTube, on um, SoundCloud, on Spotify, I think on Apple as well, and probably even Amazon. Go look him up and listen to his music, and you'll be like, damn, it's dope. You won't regret it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm sporting this outfit today. I'm actually trying to get some banger pictures, but right now, my parents ended up leaving my little brother to sleep, so I'm taking care of him till they get here so then I can try to go. If I do get some banger pictures, I will throw it. I'll throw them in at the end. I did get, I did make one myself right now, but I took it right here in my room. But I actually, you know, uh, did some little magic to it. If y'all want to see that one, that was actually on my Instagram. But I'll catch you on a little bit, though. Chill. Yo, what's up, what it do, squad? It's right here laying down in my bed. Um, Actually, I forgot to vlog. I had one outside because my mom took my little brother to go swim for a little bit. But it was so hot, guys, that I felt my body just, like, it was just going to shut down. So I'm like, man, forget this. I came back upstairs, so I was just watching um Funny Mike, his uh, prank video. And then I was watching Jess and Homer. I was watching their video. And, yeah, just been watching everybody's videos and stuff. That's been everybody who's been posting. And I'm just right here laying down in my bed. I'm actually laying down because I was sitting, I had been sitting for a while. So I'm just laying down now right here in the bed and stuff. Watching everybody's, you know, who's been posting. And I also wanted to say, I didn't say it in the beginning, but I want to say happy birthday to Louis Castro. The baddest perra. <laughs> happy birthday to you, man. Hope you have a great, amazing, blessed day, 20 years man that's that you you living your best life bro but uh yeah and also happy birthday to jackie figueroa she is brawadis's ex-girlfriend but happy birthday to you hope you have a great one and i think she's actually i think she flew out of town i don't know where to but i saw on uh, I saw on Snap she posted. She, I think she flew. She was from going somewhere out of town. Um. Also, I know today uh, Landon and Shiloh find out that they're having a boy or a girl. It's a gender reveal. So, 
you know, may God bless them, you know, with either a boy or a girl. Um, they were the first couple that I know they weren't too iffy about, like, oh, I want a girl, or, oh, I want a boy. Like, they're just, they're just cool with their baby being healthy. And I think that's, like, a big, you know, that's something big that, you know, you should just worry about if your baby is healthy. So shout out to them. And what else? What else? Yeah, that's it for right now. I think, guys, because it's the 18th today. So, um, yeah, but that's all I'm doing, guys. Just chilling. But I have gone outside, and then I did go outside earlier. I even forgot to vlog. I think when yeah, I went to go throw uh the trash. I think I don't think I vlogged, or did I? Probably did. Probably did. No, I don't think I did. And then I I was gonna vlog. I'm telling you, when I went outside to go see my mom, my little brother at the pool, cause like. My mom took him out there today she was going to take him out Friday, but we got busy going to stores and stuff. She was going to take him yesterday, but then she got busy doing stuff. So she's taking him today because then tomorrow he goes to school. Um, But, yeah, so I'm just right here laying down, chilling. I even really took my shoes off. But I freaking, I'm in love with my socks, man. And with this shirt, it's just so, so cool. Stuff for uh, the um, yours truly from four, like I said, so damn comfortable. Oh, uh, I, I just been listening to the music and stuff, writing down, like I'm kind of you know, it's kind of like I'm not gonna say a diary, but kind of like a journal of my life now that I'm doing like every. Like some somewhere between like the noon or the morning, I'll start writing. So I actually started writing. I actually wrote or whatever. So then I'll end it up like after I'm done vlogging and stuff. I'll be like you know, it's basically a note notating down. You know how my day went. It's kind of like vlogging, but instead of vlogging it, I'm actually writing it down now. Like my real thoughts and stuff that I don't like to post on social media just because some stuff is just not meant to be out there because you don't want others to um yeah because I'm sure anybody can relate what I'm going through and I know a lot of people relate on depression and anxiety and all this other stuff you know when I was younger they would always tell me always oh, it seems like you're depressed you're depressed and I was like what the hell am I depressed about you know I was just a kid what was there to be depressed about you know but now, but you see, when I when I think about my depression, I think about it differently. It's like more like because I'm, you know, I have all these health problems, so it's just like you know, I feel like damn, oh, like I'm still trying to find my, I'm still trying to find my purpose in life, basically. Oh, um, so. I don't like to really talk about that kind of stuff, honestly. I just don't because, you know, it's different for me writing it to me actually saying it on video. So, i just rather write that and keep notes to myself or whatever, you know. And then, too, like, I do go to the psychiatrist and stuff. So, you know, if I feel like it, it should be looked at, then I show them. But if I feel like I just want to keep it on myself, then I just keep it on myself, you know. Um, but it's like basically me interacting. It's like it's not even like not, it's not too too bad kind of stuff. But it's just like stuff like it's basically like me more talking to God. You know what I'm saying? That's what it kind of is. It's like a a, a journal of me talking to God on my daily day basis. Like you know why do I have to feel so much pain? Why do I have to go through so much? Yada yada yada. Like that, that's basically what it is, you know, it's just the journal of me talking to God. Because it, cause it, it, since I started it, you do see a lot where I'm actually, you know, talking, is I'm actually talking to God. Um. So yeah, but uh, otherwise, I've just been chilling, you know. Through it all, through the pain, through the hurt, I've always learned 
to just smile even when you don't feel happy but that's just how you fool people to make people believe that you are happy but in reality you're really not happy you know what i mean because nobody really likes to talk about when they're down and shit because then you always get oh you want attention or you want people to feel sorry for you that's why i come on here and i say i don't want people to feel sorry for me i don't want attention like if there's any people that I wanted attention from, shit, they know who they are. But for me to be fucking posting, they want attention from people that I don't even know now. That's just crazy. Like, how am I going to want attention from people that I don't even know now? That's just really, really crazy. But yeah, anyways, I'll catch on a bit, though. Shit. Yo, what's up, what you do, squad? I'm right here. I'm here. Welcome to the Someone's pregnant with it, you know, when my mom was pregnant. My mom can't get pregnant no more. Uh, even when my sister was pregnant, I don't know, somebody must be pregnant or something because your boy literally is having cravings. And it's crazy because I'm craving chocolate. Me, as everybody who knows me, I'm not really too much of a chocolate fan. Like, I do eat chocolate, but I'm not like, oh my god, like, I'm more out of candy and chocolate. I'm more candy, a candy lover than chocolate. Like, I like sour stuff, you know what I'm saying? So right now, suddenly, my mom's all like, man, I am freaking craving chocolate. She's like, and then I've been wanting, like, I started craving a damn Oreo cookie shake from Jack in the Box. So I'm, I do like cookies and cream ice cream, though. Don't get me wrong. Um, that's one of my favorite ice creams. That and pistachios, those are my, like, two favorite uh, ones. And strawberry. I got three favorite ice creams, actually. Um... Which is pretty cool, cause like if I go somewhere and I'm like, oh, I want pistachio, they ain't got it. They have strawberry, they got it, and I'm not cooking and cream, you know. It's basically you know, cooking and cream, pistachio, and strawberry. But yeah, so I'm just like, damn, I'm over here having all these damn cravings, and I'm like, and my ass has been putting on weight, so I'm like, but sure, I know I ain't gonna be my daddy. I know that for sure, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I mean, somebody is pregnant. I gotta investigate and get to the bottom of my mind. You see, the last time I had cravings was last year, and my cousin ended up being pregnant, and she gave birth, like, she gave birth in May to a little boy. And I kept telling her, I bet you're pregnant. She was like, nah, nah. But she ended up being pregnant, so yeah. But anyways, I'll catch on in a little bit, though. Yo, shout out to my boy at the gas station. He literally gave me what I was gonna buy for free. <laughs> He a cool ass dude. He's always there. I hadn't seen him in a bit though, cause I came to the gas station party already like two, three times, and I hadn't seen him. But the last time I had seen him, I had just, I had just got out the hospital. I think from them taking my stitches off. So I haven't seen him in. A while. It's been a while since I haven't seen him. Uh, and he see me. He's like, "What's good, G?" And then right now he was really busy, so he like. Man, he's like, it's, he's like, it's on me, just take it. And so he just got down what I got, and he let me go. So I was like, for real? He's like, yeah. And I was like, for real? He's like, yeah, for real? It's cool. It's on me. I was like, all right, cool. That's what's up. But yeah, so I'm just headed to my crib now. And I'll see y'all in a little bit, though. It's already literally eight something, so yeah. Chill. Yo, what's up, what to do, squad? I'm back at my crib. Just chilling here. Um, making keychains and stuff, you know what I'm saying? I be, I be now that you know I'm not working and shit. I found a lot of shit that I had since I was a kid and shit. So I always like to making keychains and making them them other little like shout out this kind of shout out this kind of string and like make uh, keychains and shit with it. I used to always fool around with that, so I found my stuff a while back. And so right now I'm just messing with it. Uh, gonna make a keychain. Uh, I was looking to see if I had uh, the whole MTZ King to make a keychain. But I'm still looking to see if I have some of the stuff. Um, like some of the letters. I found only a few. But then I don't know. I was thinking about my name. Jordan. You know what I'm saying? I know I got that in there. But uh, yeah. I'm like damn it. <laughs> I am 
sad because my little brother is starting school tomorrow. But the only reason I'm sad is because he's already asleep. <laughs> my mom put him to sleep right there. Well, she told him he had to be in to sleep at 8 o'clock. So he literally, uh, well, he had to be up here by 8 o'clock and to be asleep at least before 8.30. <laughs> he was way asleep before 8.30, so he's sleeping now. And I don't got my Thunder Buddy with me. I have his tablet, but not. I don't have my Thunder Buddy. He, he's sleeping in the room while oh, my pastor's wife is messaging me. But yeah. for like the summer, so he was kind of, you know, chilling here with me in my room and stuff. And I think that's one thing I'm going to miss, you know. But, you know, school's the first day tomorrow. I'm going to see... I will be up. I know that for a fact. So I'm gonna vote. I'm gonna like try to start my vlog probably around six o'clock in the morning. And by the time he's awake and gets ready and stuff, because they're gonna be out of the door by seven ten. Because they have to be at the school by I think seven forty five or something like that. So I'm gonna try to see my baby boy. To me, he's my baby boy. I don't give a damn what anybody says. A lot of people like. Nigga, he ain't even your son. Literally, yeah, he's my brother and he's the closest thing that I'll have to. He's the closest thing that I'll have called a son besides my nephew. Because my nephew, to me, that's my son as well. Shit, my nieces, if I consider them my daughters. That's the closest thing I have to my blood. That'll be my, you know, uh, that have actually my like resemblance of me. You know what I mean? Um, so I really don't care what anybody says because at the end of the day, I helped erase all of them. And yeah, so let me hold on, let me message my pastor so I real fast. Hold on. Oops, my bad. <laughs> now yeah, that um, I was messaging my my uh, well, my pastor's wife was just checking on me, seeing how I'm doing and stuff. So I just messaged her back really quick. I'm surprised she messaged me because she's been really busy because she actually is a teacher. Tomorrow's her first, first day of school. She actually works for the Dallas Independent School District. And she said it was a hectic week, like been busy this week going to meetings and whatnot. Um, but she said she was just checking on me to see if I'm okay. And... When people message me randomly, like, it touches my heart more. Because it's just like, man, I know sometimes I might say that a lot of people don't care. But when I mean a lot of people, I mean people that are actually, that been in my life for a while now. Everybody from church, man, they're always checking up on me. Whether it's through a message, whether it's through my mom, or whether they're telling my mom to tell me that I hope I'm okay, that I'm feeling okay, or do I need anything, da 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 and when I go to church, they, you know, sit there and they always make me feel comfortable. But when I say, when I say I feel like nobody's there for me, I mean like people that you would expect to be there for you. Because they're the first ones to say, yeah, I'm always going to hold it down for you. Duh, duh, duh. We on some ride or die type of shit. And they're making me feel like we on some Vin Diesel. And what's her name? The girl that come on Fast and the Furious. Making me feel something like that. Whether it's like a damn relative or just somebody I damn know like they making it seem like they that kind of relationship we had you know what I'm saying and then they go and fucking turn it back on me when I need them oh but when they need me they call me crying boo hoo woo and who's there for them this this dude right here why cause I don't have a damn heart to sit there and be cold blooded and turn them down when I know they already turned me down you know what I'm saying but I sit back quiet I listen and I'm just like, damn, that's messed up. But you see, the thing about that, karma will bite you in the ass. <laughs> because you don't you don't use people to your advantage, man. You gotta you're gonna hold it down. If you're ever gonna tell somebody, man, I'm gonna hold it down for you no matter what. I'm always gonna be there for you no matter what. Make sure you keep your damn word. Don't just open your mouth and talk to make yourself look cool and then you're gonna turn your damn back, you know what I'm saying? Don't do that crap. Um, but yeah, everybody at church are always looking out for me, and they would show me so much support and love, and I really appreciate that for real. To me, that's like, that's the closest thing that I have to family, besides, 
you know, my my mom, my dad, my brothers, my sister, nephew, nieces, whatever. That's like the closest thing that I have to like a family. I could be like, man, it's my uncle right there. Even if I'm just, you know, even though it ain't, but I could be like that and they ain't gonna trip. Like I said, oh, my pastor's son, both of my pastors, their sons, I see them like their little brothers and the one of my pastors on, well, one of my pastors has his son and his daughter and then my other, my other pastor just has baby Mateo. But, you know, all their kids, which is the little girl and the little boy, like, man, I see them like my siblings, like their little brothers and little, a little sister to me. Because I always wonder what would it be like to have a little sister, you know? I'm sure I would have been freaking hell of overprotective of her. But, you know, I'm saying I got blessed with three brothers younger than me and they're all a blessing and they're all special and they're all, all my siblings are special in their special way like we all different we all have different talents and stuff but four of us no yeah four of us actually worked in the kitchen and we all worked with my dad damn i just realized that that's crazy <laughs> and um yeah we all know how to cook except the girls which is my mom and my sister them two really don't know how they, or they do they panic like in the kitchen they don't like the kitchen <laughs> my mom though she does i we got the cleaning because we're all neat freaks me and all my brothers are neat freaks we all got the cleaning from both of my parents because my dad and my mom both have to have a clean house like that's literally in their blood they both have to have a clean house my dad could be so tired and then he comes home from work and there's trash, which really never happens because usually my brother, I used to take it out, but then my brother has been taking it out lately. Like for the last couple of months, he'll take it out. He's been taking it out. So it's like that they just have to have a clean house, both of my parents. My dad's not the type to be like, oh no, that's a woman's job, dude. Hell no, shit. Whatever a, a man could do, a woman could do whatever a woman could do. Basically, a man can do too. So, you know what I'm saying? He even goes with my mom. Like, on usually Saturdays, they go wash for Sundays. And he helps my mom fold laundry. He doesn't tell my mom, oh, you got to fold it all. Hell no, my dad's a hard worker. So is my mom. They both always busted their ass off for us. Whether it was working or just being there. And... That's why I guess I love them so much, and I'm glad that I got, you know, the cooking from my dad and the cleaning from actually both of them. But my mom is like, if we tell them, mom, let's watch a movie or let's watch something on TV, she'll be there for five minutes after that. She's clean, like, damn, what are you cleaning? You don't clean. That's the reason why she got her nickname Cinderella for me because she was always cleaning, man. She don't know how to chill, even when she's sick. But yeah, uh, anyway, so yeah, I've just been chilling today. Like I said, you know, I was basically inside. I only went outside for what it was like four minutes when they went in the pool. Then right now when y'all see me, when I went to the store. And i just been inside. And then, oh, I did go take the um, photos outside when I went to the charge. But I'm going to post them on here at the end before the video closes out. I did take a few pictures. If y'all got me on Instagram, you done seen them. If you got me on Snapchat, you done seen them. But yeah. Anyway, so I hope y'all had a great, amazing, blessed day. And I will see y'all tomorrow. Don't drink and don't drive. Get a designated driver. I hope everybody is having a safe day or night. And I will catch y'all tomorrow. And I'm out. Chill.